Hello my friends. Today's technique is an easy quick one. It's an oldie but a goodie and if you've never done it before you're going to love it. It's called masking and if you have done masking before you might need a refresher because it's one of those techniques that some people easily forget but it's just a real wow um, and I love this technique. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the wetlands stamp set because I love the Canada Goose. And if you're not familiar with Canadian geese, they're a really cool bird. They, um, some hunters seem to think that they're the smartest bird. I'm not exactly sure why on that, but they live over 20 years and they mate once for life. And they're just, I just love seeing the Canadian geese every year. So I am stamping on a piece of um, post-it note and I just used my Black Stays On ink because I want to have a little bit of the stickiness, the tackiness behind it. If you don't have a post-it note, just use a piece of scrap paper and, um, and you can put some removable adhesive behind there or use your two-way glue pen, this right here. It comes out blue, but if you put it on and set it aside to dry, it'll dry clear and then it becomes repositionable. It's one of the reasons why it's called a two-way glue pen. And we are just going to go ahead and we're going to cut out our image. Now I'm not going to cut around the grass, I'm just going to cut that right off. And you only have to do this once because what I do and what I recommend you do too is when you cut out your masks just tuck them in with your stamp set so you always have them. Okay, there he is all done. Now we move on to the next step. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to ink my image with my black. Again, I'm using Stays On. And I'm just going to stamp a little bit off to the right, not right in the center. Push down nice and firm, and there he is. Now I'm going to put my mask on top of him, and th this is why I kept some of the stickiness, it just kind of holds it in place. Ink up the stamp again, and you want to stamp on top of the mask. This is where the magic is. When you lift it off, you see, you have put your second image behind your first image. So you could do this with flowers, you could do this with so many different images. Just remember the first stamp that you do will always be the one in the front. And then you can add as many images as you want after that and add a, a, um, a group of images and it's just really neat. So let's finish our card. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in my image. I'm going to use my crumb cake and I'm going to use my aqua painter and I have just filled it up with some water and you just squeeze out a little bit of water and I've also squeezed my ink pad so that I have the puddle of ink at the top of my lid there. Now when I'm coloring my Canadian geese I'm not worrying too much about where I'm putting my color. I'm just doing it quick and just kind of random just to get a bit of color on there. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the soft suede I'm just going to put, see I don't have enough water so I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of water. There we go.
I'm going to go ahead and use my basic black marker and I'm just going to add some color to his beak. They have black beaks. Next, we need to add some, some more color to this. So let's add some grass. I'm going to start with my garden green. Squiggle it on. I'm going to use some Always Artichoke next. And some soft sky, we're just going to do an outline around the birds. Make sure you have all the green off your aqua painter before you do this bit. You have to watch when you go around that marker too because the marker will bleed. So don't add too much water around there. Because that's what's happened up here. So here's what I have, and now we are going to go ahead and finish our card. The card base I'm using is a piece of crumb cake cardstock, and before we stick this on there, I'm going to use the Express Yourself stamp set, and I'm going to use Happy Anniversary, which I think is fitting since since these two little geese will stay together for the rest of their lives. And um, this stamp set, you can't buy it. You can only get it for free. And to do that, you need to place a, um, a qualifying minimum order and you can just contact your demonstrator and they can show you how you go about that. And you can get this for free. And I, I use this set all the time. I love the script in here and there's so many different expressions. I want to make sure I get my expression exactly where I want it. So I have my plastic piece and I have my Stampin' Magic handle and you want to just line it up. Now you can line it up with the handle up at the top or on the bottom. Do whatever is um, convenient for you. I like using it at the top. Ink up your stamp and then put it right in the corner. Because this is a small piece of paper, I've put a little bit as of um, adhesive behind it so that it stays put on my scrap paper. Then I take my plastic sheet and I position my words where I want it. Put my handle down. Remove my plastic. And then come right down and it should be exactly where I want it which it is. I have a piece of Always Artichoke paper that I have cut to fit on my card base. It measures four by five and a quarter. And I want to put this through my Bake Shop machine just to add some texture. I'm going to use an embossing folder. So I'm just gonna put that right through my Bake Shop and I'll be right back. Now I want to pop this up with dimensionals and I'm going to show you how I use up every little bit on my dimensionals here. Normally you have the little dots, but I don't even throw away the edges. I use them. So I'll show you what I do. I just 
snip them along. Nothing goes to waste. So now I have little strips like this. So there's my card featuring the masking technique. It's really fun. Give it a try. Look at your stamp sets. Even if you don't have this set, look at different images or flowers, anything you have that can be grouped. Um, and it's just a really neat technique that I think you're going to enjoy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it and happy stamping.